Hey everyone, I'm Heather. I'm Dee. And I'm Sean. And we're here to talk to you about sample size calculations. I'm sample size calculations are used when determining the sample size you will need when you're looking for a certain margin of error at a given confidence interval. You can use sample size calculations when inferring either means or proportions. In fact, the equation is fundamentally the same for both processes. For both, you simply set up the equation so that z star times standard error is less than or equal to your desired margin of error. Alright, let's start with the process we use when finding standard deviation. Our equation is z star times the standard deviation over the square root of n is less than or equal to the margin of error, or m. We're going to solve for the sample size, so we're going to put that on the right. So we're going to do z star times the standard deviation is less than or equal to m times the square root of n. And then we're going to move the m over, and we're going to do z star times standard deviation over m is less than or equal to the square root of n. And finally, we just put the square root on the other side, and it's z star times the standard deviation over the margin of error squared is less than or equal to n. And that's how you solve for the sample size. Okay, so here's an example. With a margin of error, plus or minus 5, a standard deviation of 43, and a 95% confidence interval, we just start plugging it into the equation. So we look up on table C for the z-score, and we get 1.96, and then the standard deviation is 43 over the sample size, which is what we're solving for, and that's all less than or equal to 5. Then we just do some algebra. And it comes out to 16.856 times the square root of n, and we just square both of those, and n is greater than or equal to 284.12, oh, sorry about that, 1, 2, 5. And because we can't use a fraction of the sample, we must always round up to the next whole integer. So we're going to use 285. Alright. Now let's look at the process we use when using proportions. Now again, we're going to start with our Z star but this time we're going to multiply it by the square root of the sample proportion times 1 minus the sample proportion over n is less than or equal to m. Now what we're going to do to start this off so that we can actually manipulate the equation is we're going to separate the uh, proportions and the n into separate square roots. This will then allow us to put z star times the sample proportion times 1 minus the sample proportion is less than or equal to m times the square root of n. From there, we're able to divide our margin of error by both sides, and then we square this whole equation to get this to equal n. And that's it. Okay, so here we have an example using the equation we just did. We have a margin of error of 0 0.03, a confidence interval of 95%, and a proportion of 0.5. The first thing we do is we find the table C z-score, which is 1.96, and we plug that into our equation with the other given information, and we get that multiplied by 0.5, multiplied by 1 minus 0.5 over the square root of n, and that's all square rooted, and then we have let is less than or equal to 0 0.03. Uh, so since we have 0.5 times 1 minus 0.5, they cancel out with the square root. And we have 1.96 times 0.5 over the square root of n, 
is less than or equal to 0 0.03. And then we move over here, we're going to move the n to the right side. And we're going to have 1.96 multiplied by 0.5 is less than or equal to 0 0.03 times the square root of n. And then we have 1.96 times 0 0.5 over 0 0.03 is less than or equal to the square root of n. And then we get 32.667 is less than or equal to the square root of n. We're going to square the other side, and we have n is greater than or equal to 1067.1. And since we can't have a decimal, we're going to round up, and n equals 1068. And that's how you solve the equation. Okay, so there's one very important principle that you have to remember when doing these calculations. It's very small. The smaller the desired margin of error, the greater the sample size needs to be. So if we're looking at a margin of error 2.5%, we need a sample size of 1,537. And if you need a margin of error of 2%, then the sample size needs to be 2,401. So it's much greater. Well, that's our time for today, and we hope you found this video helpful. For more statistics help, check out DC Statistics for more videos.